What's up? What's up? Your girl Keisha Renee here. Got my guy Hollywood and gang, a gang, special gang, gang, gang. guest. You know the vibes. We got Smooth L in the building. Whoa. Yeah, okay, Hollywood with the effects. Facts, you know the vibes. I'm all set. I'm all set. So you from Brooklyn, right? Facts. What's it like being an artist coming out of Brooklyn with all the talent and you know the legends that's all out there? Uh, I don't know. It's like it's kind of natural. It's cool. It's just lit. You know where we from? It's like, it's like, oh man, everybody, everybody rap. Facts. Be coming out, you know. I guess it's just chosen. That's all. Yeah, I feel like you got a lot of dope artists coming out of um, New York in general. Yeah. You feel like it's a lot of pressure to like have that number one hit, or you kind of just go with the vibes. No, nah, I'm just going with the vibes. You know, it's just music is natural. Like I said, just rapping, shit like that. Yeah. Facts. You from the sty too, so that's a lot of pressure for me. At home of Biggie and all that, so that's a lot of pressure for right. me. Nah, nah, that's I'm that's history. Facts. You gotta hold it down. You know. So where'd you get the name Smooth L from? I don't know. Just rapping. I just had it. Like I don't know. It just came out of nowhere. I sat in one of my songs and then. I came back to the hood. Niggas was jacking it. That's all. I just went with it. Like, fuck it. Some of my men say Smooth Valley. Stop calling me Smooth Valley. I'm like, fuck it. Just went with it. It just fit. Yeah, it just fit. So okay, so, okay. so, I, so I heard that the L stands for lefty, too. So are you really a lefty? Because I heard you, like, play basketball and all that. Nah, so. le- lefty my real knee. Like, it's my real guy. Oh, I heard. But it's just like, I don't know. I just put the L there. I'm a junior, too, so, you know. Heard. Okay, okay. <laughs> Now, I'm not going to lie. The first time I got put on to you was back in, like, 2019. I heard your song play at Powerhouse. What? What song was that? I think it was Big Mad. I think Spen King and him was, like, going hard with that, or Apollo. It, it probably w- was Big Mad, though. It Listen, when Big I heard Mad it, I already knew it was, like, over. Was you there that day? Nah. Because I, I, Fabio and him came out oh, right after Jam? that. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, it was Powerhouse. It was a Powerhouse, powerhouse. show. Oh, Damn, I can't remember. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, okay. So did you know those two songs in general was going to, like, be the icing on your cake? Like, really start your, you know? Nah, I ain't know that. I was just doing it. it in the studio, just, just having fun. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Just having fun with it. That's when you make the best music, when you have fun with it. I feel you. I feel you. Now, you're a rapper, though. So what do you consider yourself? Like, what box? Uh, Would you put yourself in a box? <clears throat> like, artist. You know what I'm saying? I get on multiple beats, so I wouldn't, you know? Mm-hmm. Consider myself as a drill rapper. Word. I feel like I'm good at I'm I'm great at drill, but you know what I'm saying. Sometimes you can't just label yourself as that. That's putting yourself in a box. You don't want to be in a box. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Facts. I can do anything. So so you feel like uh, since you came out in like the drill era, feel me? Do you feel like people only know of you for for the drill rap? Nah 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 nah. nah. Some 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 drills non drill songs a little known too, like through the night. Facts. I don't know That's if you hard. heard that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, like certain little ones got their millions on it. So you know, I'm actually looking like I could do this too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Word. When you heard when you when you hit your first mill on a video, what, what was that vibe like? Damn, it was crazy. I, I knew I was gonna get it though. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. But it was like, I don't know. It was. It, it wasn't really a little surprising, but it was surprising. Cause but I you be seen watching, it. I be watching my numbers grow. So you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So it's like it ain't too surprising. Like it was just going. Like all right, it's at hundred k. 200, and then just like, all right, now I know this going to hit a mill. Right, so, right. Facts. Once I get up like there, that. it's like, it's over. It's out the park. Yeah. <clears throat> I seen you got co-signed, too, by some dope artists. Um, Jada, Jada Kiss. Yeah. Shout out, Kiss. Shout out to Jada. Yeah. How, 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 how's that feel to get co-signed by such a legend? Damn, that shit feel good. I, I, I was bumping Jada Kiss once upon, upon a time, like, my mom playing the shit and all that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I've been heard of Jada Kiss, been with Jada Kiss since a kid, so I was like, that's, that's a blessing right there. I fuck with Jada Kiss. Shout out to Jada Kiss. Did y'all ever connect yet? Link? Nah, we ain't link yet. Ain't gonna cap. Soon, though. Soon, soon, soon. Soon, yeah. <laughs> you kept it real safe. You ain't gonna cap. You gotta <laughs> manifest fact. it, though. Feel me? That's a, that's fact. a fact. As far as being an artist, though, right now, like, coming up, do you feel like it's a it's a gap between, like, the older generation and the young generation? Because I see a lot of older cats, you know, some would nah, say, like, really they kind of hating a, a young- little bit, you know? Oh yeah, like on that on that behalf, I don't know. Yeah, like <laughs> you know, as far as like, like they like, cause I don't know. I feel like they they feel like the the younger guys are just getting it so much faster now, and it could you be the, like saying? the social tools, you know. I don't know. It's like our generation got more. Like I don't know. Like this new generation, I love the new generation. Like it's more personalities, more people. 
Like, I don't know. Like, everybody. Well, just, you could reach everybody. Everybody nowadays. just being them. I feel Facts, like. yeah. It's like, definitely a lot of, yeah, uniqueness. That's what I'm saying. Say, like, yeah. Different people, there's different artists nowadays. There's a million artists, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, walking around the world. So, you know, I feel like this generation is cool. Really, everybody just being them. Facts. You are, uh, you are. Uh, you pretty young too, feel me? Because I, I seen in a couple of your interviews, you didn't even get to, feel me, go to the club and do all that experience right. in that life yet. Yeah, for me, I the just nightlife. Twenty one. Were fourteen. Like happy two birthday, weeks ago. man! Happy okay. Birthday. Happy birthday. Happy belated. So I ID sideways, man. Check it, check it. So, so, do you are you tapped in the uh, you, you when when you were growing up? Do you listen to any like old school artists? You got any old school influences or anything? I really listen to. Uh, I'm, I keep a bug. I listen to MJ a lot, Michael Jackson. Where? I listen to Biggie. Word. Shout out mm-hmm. to Biggie. I'm gonna lie. I ain't really listen to Hov like that. I wish I would listen to more Hov, but it's never too late. I'm gonna go back and listen to some That's tape. a fact. Yeah, yeah, it's never too late. It's never too I late. I just got on the um Big L too. I don't know if you ever heard of Big yeah, L. Yeah, Big That's another yeah. good one that you gotta like. Yeah, go back and oh, tap yeah, in I've been with. Listening to him, so I really just listen to MJ Biggie. Besides that, I ain't really listen to nobody. Word. Word. Yeah, cause you kind of just like started, you know, buzzing really right before the pandemic. Yeah, yeah, started yeah. happening. So, like during the pandemic, what was it like for you as an artist, like navigating through that? Oh uh, damn, it was just, it was a little different. More stuff, more stuff through the phone. It mm-hmm. wasn't really too different. But besides that, it's missing out a lot of money. That's it. <laughs> right, <laughs> Fact. right. Because like you like you say, you ain't really ever really get to fully go out and perform and tour, right? Yeah. Before all of that happened, it was gonna go crazy. It stopped a lot of things, like in um London. Mm. Got shows in London. It was like yeah, it stopped a lot of stuff. Oh, that would have been a nice. Cool though, we get it back. Facts, 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 facts. facts, facts. So you got some songs out right now. You just dropped a new project. Yeah. What's it called? Um, shot cups. Ice, ice yeah, cups ice and cups and shootouts. Ice Summertime shootout. vibes, Brooklyn. Heard you. Yeah. What's what your else? favorite song on there? Uh, get bands. Get bands. Yeah, get bands. That's my favorite song up there. I ain't gonna lie. It was just a project. Like I was just trying. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Trying something new. Besides the drill and all that. Just right, and I see you don't really have too many features on there either. You got, like, two features on there. Yeah, I got uh, two C. Yeah, two C. And I think that's it, to be honest. Nah, you got somebody else, too, that Frank. I can't thing. remember. Yeah. <laughs> you just be in the studio making music, huh? Yeah. Um, I like the fact that you put Apollo back on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, was yeah, a smart move. Facts. They threw that up there. Big track. That was nice. So, as far as... um. You know, navigating and stuff. I, I heard you say that you, in an interview before, you weren't out in Brooklyn no more. You was out in Cali. Yeah. Do you still live out in Cali? Oh, yeah. I still got this stuff going on out in Cali, too. Okay. That's about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I've been in Cali for, like, since, like, 18. Oh, okay. I moved out there, like, with my with my label, like, my first label. Mm-hmm. I'm signed with Interscope and Run Music, you know what I'm saying? So, I moved out there with um my CEO, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I used to just record and come back to Brooklyn to shoot videos. Cali a different vibe though than New York. It's kinda right. laid yeah. back, chill though. Facts. I feel like my music wouldn't wouldn't have been what it was, like if I ain't never go to Cali. Word. Sometimes you need that. You need that experience, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Network the with different people. It's great out there. The recording great, it's a different vibe, you know what I'm saying? And you can focus up more. Right. You, so you, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so what's a day in the life um like of Smooth Out? Cool, calm, collective. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop like playing. The game, chill with the members. You know, regular. Yeah. Just roll, running, getting money. That's about it. Okay, okay. So how, how often you hit up the studio? Like, is that like a, like a, you in there all the time? You go in there when you yeah, need to go in? Definitely. I'm in the studio most of the time, but I really love going to the studio when I, like, when I finish just writing a song or something. When, when it's you, fresh in your brain type thing? Yeah, when I know when I want to record. It's better. It's better recording when you wrote something. You, you got any uh, studio essentials? What's some like three studio essentials for for Smooth L? That you need must haves. You need the za. Like what's the vibe? Show me. Like. <laughs> hot Cheetos. Okay. Gotta have those. <laughs> I can't even focus without those. Some hot Cheetos. Za. Like you said. <laughs> Facts. I need the best za. And mainly the members. And if you know, you know what else. <laughs> heard, 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 heard. Yeah, I see you work with um. A couple dope artists too, like um, Fabi. You know, he did cast and stuff like that. Anybody in particular you trying to work with moving forward? Anybody who trying to work with me? That's all. You know what I'm saying? Like I really like um, I think it's like I ain't gonna lie, like Doug. You know what I'm saying? Doug is fire. Baby Doug. You know a lot of lot of great artists. There's a lot of artists out. 
Like, true. I'm willing to work with anybody who's willing to work with me. True, true. That's it. You know? Business is business. Business Facts. is business. So what's next for you? For the rest of the summer? Oh, uh, I got to, like, I'm probably about to drop a single soon. Get that moving. Mm -hmm. I ain't name it yet. Get that moving. Shoot a video. A couple upcoming videos with Jerry. Jerry Productions. I don't know if you know about him. That's a little camera man. Mm -hmm. nah, but you just put a song. Facts. Yeah, um, I'm trying to get something with Drew Film too. Okay, Drew I Film do know about him. Yeah. Team hit him. Get something with him. And yeah, that's about it. But I got a really like singles coming up. You know, summer is getting hot. Mm -hmm. Time to get the streets going. Yeah. Okay. That's about it. Facts. So do you prefer singles over like dropping like a full project or you just like to just nah, feel the vibe? Yeah, the right time. It's just the yeah. right time for everything, you know. That's about it. I ain't so, rushing anything. So what com what comes first for Smooth Out? Is it is it the beat or is it the lyrics? What comes what comes first? Whatever comes first. <laughs> her, 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 her. Beat could be hard and make you want to write to a beat and then it just sometimes some shit pop up in your brain like I Right, right. Write something down real quick. Just come out of the blue. Heard it. Heard it. Yeah, everything natural though. You gotta have everything natural. So it's, so it's me that come to you. You mean in like you uh so do you predominantly like your songs, is it written or do you go in and like just catch a vibe in the studio type thing? Sometimes I catch a vibe in the studio, but my best music come out when it's written. Mm. I wrote New Apollos too. Word. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like it was natural. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I knew it was going to be signed. I wrote that shit. Yeah, that shit hard. Yeah. Not gonna lie to Ooh, Certified I jingle. That, that should be a trademark jingle. I wrote ooh, that too. Ah. That shit hard too. I wrote Big Mad, I wrote New Apollos. First of all, them songs are still gonna go hard. Like I can see like outside really opening up and turning up and. Oh yeah, most definitely. Because that shit ain't I feel yet. like they didn't really get that that push push. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It was right there when it happened. Like. Mm -hmm. So it's good. I, like I like to see your growth. Like I said, I've, I've been on you since like 2019, seeing the vibes and the growth. You, new ice and all of that. You you know facts, you know facts, you getting facts. money and getting to facts, it when they facts, come back facts. and they got new ice and stuff. <laughs> okay, gotta so, level up. I don't see I don't see some of your interviews and stuff. Yeah, Actually, sure. this is like your fourth interview. You like my fourth. So Word. I'm kind of excited, you know. Facts. OWO history right here. You did the funk flex freestyle. You gotta get a picture out of this too. Facts. Of course, we need a right. flick. It's a moment. So we got we got the album out right now. You just dropped it yesterday. Oh no no no! I dropped the, I dropped um I dropped a single yesterday called Grime. Make sure yes, I go listen Grime. to that too. Grime. Yeah, I dropped Grime yesterday. Top it. I got something else coming for the streets. It's a little different. It's coming real soon though. I think they gonna fuck with it. More more videos. Visuals. Yeah, I play some unreleased for y'all. Heard it, heard it, heard it. Okay, like that. okay. We, like that. we gotta get you out here though to perform. Yeah. You already connected with OWO? I think I performed up here before one time. I can't hmm. remember, but I think I did. Might have been like the cat. Somebody said that, too, that they went and we seen you perform. The, the cap center, I think. Oh, that was probably real wild. Uh, but I did hear you was at a studio out here at Over It. when oh, you yeah, was Because you was rapping for a little minute now. Yeah, oh, I've been to a studio out here yeah. a long time ago. This is where we was at? No, 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 no. Over is a little, yeah, yeah like, like oh, 10, right, 15 right, minutes right, from so here. I can't remember. I've been in a million studios. Right. Yeah. yeah. So you've been doing music since you was 14. Yeah, then I stopped. I stopped and I was like playing, trying to play ball and shit like that, running the streets. And then, you know, I got back to it like when I knew it was like, I. Right. It's serious now. Yeah. So I'm have you had your aha moment yet? Huh? Have you had your aha moment yet where you'd be like, damn, I'm, I'm making it. Like, I'm doing it yet. Like, uh, facts. What was that moment damn. where you was like, nah, I made it? Was it was it the chain? Probably, no. no. <laughs> I think it was, um, I think it was Yams Day at that concert. Mm -hmm. Oh, ASAP. And, yeah, and, um, in the stadium, in the center. That was your first performance yeah, too, right? Yeah, yeah let's talk about that a little that bit too. From going and crazy. not performing nowhere to going to performing at Barclays, feel me? Right. Shout out to That's Brooklyn saying, Nets and all that. Barclays, that shit and it was wicked. home. Facts, facts. I don't know, it was, just, it was a great moment. Like that. It was just, Do you got know. like stage antics? Nah, I was with all the antics. <laughs> I was with like taking your shirt off, spraying water. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember. I, I, I remember. Spin, out too much. Spin King said you were supposed to throw somebody in the crowd too. You did that or not? Like, what? What, what, no, what I, ended up I, happening? I got in the crowd. I got in the fire, crowd. I got, fire, fire. Got in the crowd. Felt the love, you know. I fire. mean, because it's a vibe. It's like energy. Like, yeah, it was just that and Brooklyn it was energy, crazy. crazy yeah. was, I was lit. Like, it was, Facts. it was a moment you'd be waiting for, you know. What's the craziest thing that has happened? Um, as far as like you know, before when you was able to move, um, move around and stuff like. Crazy on tour moments or like 
behind the scene moments. Facts. You need security uh, and shit now too. Right. So like, because I know that. the girls is crazy. <laughs> I, I probably can't. Remember. All right, look, look, look. Well, how, what was the moment you felt like? I right, like I need security now. For me, like shit is getting crazy. Oh, uh, I stopped at a mall one time, and like, um, damn, it was in New York though. But I stopped at a mall. And it was just, no people just came mm-hmm. over to me. They want to take pictures, and then I couldn't. It got to a point I couldn't leave. Yeah, <laughs> I was with somebody at the time through the mall, so I was like, it was heavy. It was just y'all too. Yeah, that person kind of shy. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's it like going back to Brooklyn now? Like being out there. It's the same vibe, you know. Yeah. I only go to, I really don't move around. There's only so much you can do. Yeah, and no, I feel you. So Facts. And be low-key. You pull up, get in, get out. That's Facts. It. Facts. Right. Facts. Did you do college a little bit or no? No, I was over for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, honestly, the college wave is right right now for you, too. So it don't even matter if you're in school or not. Because no, you about to take over all that, of that. Like, I think if I'd had my mind on that, I wouldn't have been the person I am today. Yeah. I would think about college. I would big think about school. It got to a point it was about to be put for school. So right. Facts. So if you wasn't rapping, you would be out trapping. <laughs> right. Or playing ball? No. Yeah, or playing ball. Overseas? No. Nah, he'll be working. He'll be. I, I can see I him mean, being an accountant or something. Went, right. <laughs> <laughs> if someone went right, yeah. Yeah. Definitely trapping though. Yeah. Heard you, heard you, heard you, heard you. That's one thing about like the younger generation, you know, like. You work smarter you gotta and faster, get that you money know? They ain't pay you that much at, 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 at the 9 to 5. That's what I, I, I realized that, you know? It's, it's a gap. It's like the older generation, it's like work hard, And you it's know, taking it. a lot of s- stuff you could do through the day. People don't know how much they could do when you're outside. Right. Like, Facts. And what you can get done, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just move tack and, and correct and all of that. Fact. Wait, so I got another question, too. So, all right. So, when you first signed, right, mm-hmm. what was the – because I remember you saying – um. And one of your interviews that, you know, when you sign, it, you could, you know, you going to whatever you feel like at the moment is what you, um, you know, buy or, or whatever the situation was. So what was the first thing you caught? Was it was it the Hellcat? Was it the chain? Like, what's, what was the first thing you caught after you signed type shit? Damn. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I definitely. I got a car, though. Yeah. A car? I remember my purchase for my car. So, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of stuff. I'm really just like I don't know. I be I still buy some regular shit, food and shit like that. Like I ain't really some some fruity pebbles. Oh, I know you man. like fruity pebbles too. I seen that. Like I don't be thinking <laughs> and the cran grape and the cran grape major key, <laughs> major key. <laughs> but I dropped a hundred on a Hellcat though. How fast you got it up? Whoa, that's not really, crazy, bro. I think it's two hundred up there. And down. I've been so scared in the car. <laughs> two hundred? <laughs> like, you was I'm like wilding. slow down. That's only in Cali, though, right? You can't do that shit in New York. No, you can't. Potholes, you got, like, stop signs, stop lights. Pedestrians. Yeah. Pedestrians. <laughs> people people just riding walking, their bikes. People walking across the street. In, nah. In, in New York. Crackheads. Nah, let me not take it there. Let me not take it there. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, could get busy, you could get busy, like, on that, on that, uh, that tunnel right the, Yeah, the freeway yeah, to Lincoln. Yeah, but yeah, still, yeah. like, people just be driving too reckless in New York. Like, I can't. Yeah, you, yeah, you gotta do that crazy, out in Cali. Nah, That's where your car at, right? Out in Cali? Yeah, that cat under the tunnel would sound crazy. <laughs> that car under the tunnel would sound too crazy. Dang, man. Well, listen, more blessings, man. Um, I can I see you doing it. great things and going very far in life. Facts. Um, just keep good people around you. And you you say you'd be moving strategic anyways, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so always. just stay like that. For sure. And um, what, what we streaming? Let the people know everything we streaming and everything where we Everything out get. now. Billy Green out now. Grime out now, man. Everything. Just search a smooth ever stream. Everything. I appreciate it. All the fans, all the love. Yeah, and we going to get him back up here for our actual show. Facts. Shout out to my guys, OWO, DTB. Y'all, y'all, y'all got a song out, too. Facts. Yeah, Facts. Sure. That designer, the, man. Yeah. Sure. Shout out to Gangsta. Word. The video fire. So that's good. You connected. For sure. And, um, yeah, it's, it's up. It's up. Up and stuck. Facts, All facts, right. facts. So my last question, man. So why for Smooth L, man? So you know a lot of people, uh, you know, they they they, they discredit the power of music for me. So mm-hmm. why for Smooth L is it more than music, man? It's art. It's something you're leaving on earth. Like for afterlife, you know, people be still streaming you, watching mm-hmm. you. You get what I'm saying? You inspire others. Facts. That's it. Facts. Music is timeless. Facts. Timeless. It's ageless. It's forever. Facts. It's a forever team. So you gotta create as much and leave a as much of a mark you can leave. You know what I'm saying? No cap. That's about it though. 
I like that you get your nails manicured and stuff. You keep your hands good. Uh huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so you got the bag. You might as well Word, you treat right? yourself, right? You Self care is great care. Major right. key. Major, Major key. key. Major key. So I, right, I'm fine. This is my last question. Now we gonna wrap up. Now we gonna wrap up. Now we gonna wrap up. So, uh, you know, you a you a young dude, feel me? And you put in a you got a big platform now. So what's yeah. what's a message that you got for a younger upcoming artist, uh-huh. feel me? That could possibly be in you know Smooth L's position. You know, you going from being in bedside to now, feel me? You doing man, what you want to do, really? Facts. You know, be you. Heard That's it. About it, man. Stay true to yourself, man. True to self. Money. That's about it. Get money. Without money, you can't do nothing. Get Facts. Money. Facts. You ain't never lie. That's about it. It's Heard up. it. Heard it. Keisha Renee, DJ Hollywood, Smooth L. We out. We out here.